ज्ञानम परमम ध्येयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम सो इन ट्यूटोरियल फाइव अगेन वी हैव द सेम पैटर्न ऑफ फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स and you have learned in your uh, lectures how one obtains or solve commutator operator so there will be a problem based on commutate commutation to obtain a commutation relation then uh, you have to calculate the commutation between the operators or in terms of matrices so that will cover the part of the tutorial and in the latter part uh, you have to obtain some expectation value of momentum operator or the energy eigen state of hamiltonian and uh, there is one more exercise wherein you from the commutator expression you have to evaluate some relation so coming to tutorial 5 the first problem is interesting because here you are given two states of a quantum system it has basis state psi plus and psi minus so psi plus and psi minus are the two basis state and these basis states are not eigen states of operator given to you some operator or hamiltonian operator h let me denote it by h so these two eigen states these two are not the eigen state or eigen basis of the hamiltonian operator and what one does is when you make a measurement of the energy of the operator so when you operate this operator on some basis you obtain the corresponding energies so if i operate this operator on eigen vectors i get the eigen values now here you are given these two eigen kets and these eigen kets are such that when so the measurement is made at different times so time t is equal to 0 t by 2 t 3t by 2 2t etc so when time is some n times t where n is equal to 0 1 2 etc so at these integral times the system is in state plus while at time when it is a half or you can call it as half integral when the time is half integral that is t by 2 3t by 2 etc here n can take value 1 2 3 the system is in state ket minus so again we are sticking to brian ket no notation this is a ket plus and this is a ket minus so state plus when t is integral multiple of time time is integral multiple of some n t and the eigen vector or the ket is minus when time is half integral multiple of capital t so you have to construct a one parameter of parameter hamiltonian which reduces the above physics and give a relation between 
the parameter and time t. So, now uh, let us get started we assume that the Hamiltonian operator is an Eigen vector has an Eigen vector 0 and 1 ok. And in the previous set of examples you have seen that the Eigen vector is written as the notation we used was 1 and 2 here we have 0 and 1. So, 0 will be nothing but and 1 will be let us assume that Hamiltonian operator has Eigen ket 0 and 1 you can see they are orthonormal and normalized. So, these are Eigen ket or Eigen vectors of the Hamiltonian operator. Now, when I have these operators the corresponding Eigen values Eigen values would be 0 and e ok. We can choose one of the value as 0 because of the global minima and uh, it will not affect the value of the measurement, it will not affect the value of the measurement. So, now these gets can be represented in terms of the basis state plus and minus. So, these gets are one by root two ok. So, these are called conjugate basis vector. So, these are called conjugate basis vector and state or ket 0 is represented as 1 by root 2 ket plus ket minus sum of these two and the corresponding ket 1 will be. So, in the conjugate basis you have ket plus plus ket minus as the Eigen ket 0 and the ket 1 is represented as plus minus minus ket ok. So, this you can invert this in terms of ket plus and ket minus. So, this is this can be simply inverted in this manner ok. And using this you can obtain some relation between the uh, Eigen values for different time. The evolution operator for or the unitary operator which evolves with this will be u of t will be e raise to minus i h. This is the unitary operator or time evolution operator ok. So, this is the time evolution operator in terms of u naught I will have to write it later. So, let us assume a 2 cross 2 time invariant Hamiltonian H with we have we have assumed that the eigen values are 0 and e so 0 and e correspond to 
the energy eigen value. Now, the Hamiltonian operator with 0 eigen value can we can take or assume presumably because the global phase is invariant under such measurement. So, it will be immaterial. So, the Hamiltonian operator now I can write as 1 1. Okay. So, in again coming back to this notation, so Hamiltonian operator will be written in this form. Okay. You have to recollect the problems we have done in tutorial 3 and tutorial 4. We have done such problems. So, now when you write the unitary operator coming back here, this unitary operator it is evolving from time t is equal to 0 to time t is equal to some t. So, time evolution operator is given by this. We have to operate this, suppose we operate this operator on some basis vector or basis state, you will have u of t is nothing but i h t upon h cross which will be equivalent to writing this e raised to minus i e t upon h cross in terms of the basis 1 and 0 we have this. So, at time t is equal to 0, we can operate. So, the wave function, so let me write the time evolution of the state vector So, this is a state vector. So, now we want to evolve this state vector such that you have u of t psi of 0. So, from time t is equal to 0, u will u of t is a unitary operator which will, which will evolve the wave function or the state vector with time. So, that I can write it as u of t. So, when time t is equal to 0, remember when time t is equal to 0, the state is plus and we have seen that this in the in terms of conjugate basis, we have plus ket is written in terms of 0 and 1. So, this is u of t I will have in terms of 0 and 1. So, I can again substitute for these and directly write 1 by root 2 0. The evolution operator I have used to get exponential minus i e t upon h cross state 1. So, this is the time evolution operator. What we want is that at times t is equal to t to t etcetera psi of t that is this ket should be plus and at times t is t by 2. So, 3 t by 2 etcetera psi of t should be in state minus. So, how will we rewrite this psi of t as plus and minus? This is possible when our t goes from one state that is t 
is in terms of the Hamiltonian operator. So, in terms of the time evolution operator, we have written this with the exponent. So, time t will be equal or periodic only when this expression t to t comes back to some value that is to say that exponential of i e t upon h cross comes back to some value say 1. So, this periodicity you get when this exponent is 1 and for time t by 2, 3 t by 2 etcetera, this same exponent would give you a value minus 1. So, at these 2 times this is possible only when your exponent is 2 pi i ok for both cases. So, E t upon h cross should be 2 pi. And so, the relation between E and the time t. So, now at time some time t. So, it, this will become a capital T. We are saying that t is capital T. So, we have here the single parameter which relates the energy to T and energy is related to the Hamiltonian. So, this Hamiltonian is characterized by a single parameter single parameter E which gives the above relation. Okay. You have I think already done some relations like x. So, there are uh, commutators like x comma p. So, famous commutators like x comma p and then you have you can check whether a Hamiltonian operator commutes with the momentum operator, this position vector. So, let me put a cap here. So, x cap p cap where x and p are the operators and operators are represented by a hat or a cap. So, this is an operator representation ok and this is called as a commutator brackets. Okay. Two operators commute operator A and B commute that means that A and B when you put in the commutator bracket it is 0. You will see in coming lectures that why do we check whether two operators commute or not. So, when two operators commute they form a simultaneous Eigen kit. So, the measurement of a do not affect the measurement of p that is what it would mean. So, when you operate an operator a b on a Eigen vector this will be equal to. So, interesting part of these two operator is that the measurement of a and b are independent and hence you can form a simultaneous Eigen kit for this vectors and this will be useful for coming lectures. This is a slight background and as we know that operator x and p gives i h cross this is the relation we obtain 
and I think you might have proved some time or if you have not proved this, please try your hands on prove this. I will not discuss the proof in this tutorial, but you must try out x comma p n. You can also try this is 1, you can also try what do you obtain n operator p. So, x raised to n on p. So, x on p n this I will give you this result which you can uh, use in the problem, but it would be I would suggest that you must prove this identity. So, this we are going to use in, a, in this tutorial 2. So, in second question you are given two operators position operator x hat and the momentum operator p hat and you have to write this operator evaluate the commutator of these two operator. So, let us try evaluating the commutator bracket or the commutation relation of x and alpha e raise to alpha p e raise to alpha p cap I can write this as 1 plus alpha p hat plus alpha square upon 2 factorial p hat square and so on. You can write the exponential series. Now, when I do this, this would be commutation of the position operator with these terms of the exponents. This is a simple way to do plus dot dot dot. So, the first part, this is the first term, second term would be this, third term would be x hat p square plus all the terms. So, remember the operator times a number will always give you 0, first term is 0 plus alpha i h cross. Now, second term you will use this here it will be square this square n is 2. So, you have 2 i h cross p. So, this is 2 i h cross p plus alpha square 2 i h cross you have a p hat upon 2 factorial. So, what will be the result of this alpha i plus you have the other terms alpha i h cross plus you have 2, 2 will get cancelled you have a alpha square h cross p hat I have not missed anything ok I have a factor of i also plus n terms. So, in general form can I write it as i. So, this I can take i h cross alpha and I have 1 plus second term would be alpha p hat plus so on. So, this is nothing but again you get an exponential series. So, this would be x e raised to alpha p hat is nothing but i h cross e raised to alpha p hat. So, this is what I get after performing the and I have missed the alpha which I put here. So, this is the expression I obtain for commutator of x e raised to alpha p. Now, if I replace alpha by my question is i a upon h cross. So, let me replace alpha by i a upon h cross e raised to i a p cap upon h cross will be this would be uh, h cross this will be a i h cross e raised to i a p cap upon h cross. 
that is nothing but minus a e raised to i a p cap upon h cross. So, this is what I have obtained after finding the commutator of these two operators. Remember a is a constant, a is a constant and it is having the dimension of length, dimensionally it is the dimension of length you can see from here it is very simple to see from here. Now the second part of the question is show that x is the eigenstate of this operator. The eigenstate of this operator I have an exponent e raised to i a p hat upon h cross I operate on x. So when I operate x hat on x I obtain x times x ok. So, x is some eigenstate of a positive operator you have to evaluate that. So, now uh, if I operate this on e raised to i h cross. So, now we have the commutation relation. So, if I write x hat as this, this operator I define as commutator of x i a operated on x minus or plus let me see this is x e raised to i then I have a minus so I will have a plus e raised to i a p hat upon h cross on x. So, this is what I have this would give me this relation we have seen gives this commutator gives minus a e raised to i h cross and operating x on the vector will give me x. So, I have x minus a e raised to minus e raised to i a p hat upon h cross. So, the final step is e raised to i p hat upon h cross x will be x minus a e raised to i a p hat upon h cross x. This is what I had correct. So, what do we observe? This is some another vector x. So, what do we obtain here is that e raised to i p upon h cross x is an eigenstate this operator let me call it as some capital X. So, this capital X is an eigenstate of uh, operator x with eigenvalue x minus a. So, this operator is the eigenstate of this ket is an eigenstate of the operator small x with eigenvalue x minus a that implies that e raised to i p cap upon h cross is a unitary operator is a unitary operator that what does this unitary operator does? It translates x to x minus a. Particle to minus a. Okay. So, if this operator is operated on x it should give me same x and get x capital X back. But here it does what it does is it gives me x minus a that means it translates the particle to minus a. So, this is a very good exercise wherein you understand the operator how the unitary operator comes into picture 
for this particular problem. In the previous problem also you have seen a different flavor. So, with this we stop here.